It's the thoughts around money and deservingness that actually prevent us from bringing money in. I was homeless. I was in poverty. I did not know this back then. Like everybody else and most people today, I blamed everybody else. It's the government's fault. It's unemployment's fault. It's bad management's fault. It's the employer's fault. It's the people who laid me off's fault. It's, you know, it's the world at largest right. fault. Mm -hmm. It's not. Because there are people who are doing well right now. There are people who are making money during a pandemic, during COVID, and have been. So mm -hmm. there is something that suggests, well, maybe something is working and maybe I'm not working it. What I'm getting to is the first thing most people have is a negative belief around money. I can begin a statement and everybody listening or watching will end it. Money is the root of all. They all just said evil. Now yep. stop and think. If people in their unconscious, subconscious think money's evil, are they going to want it? Consciously, they'll say they do. Yeah, I got to pay my house bill. I got to pay the mortgage. I got to pay right. the phone bill, the groceries. I got to do all of this. But they're going to do it with money. The very thing they think is evil. So there's a built in sense of limitation. There's a part of us protecting us from having more money because we think money's bad. Now, I spend a lot of time in my books, my work, getting on soapboxes, telling people money's nothing. Money's neutral. It's like me picking up the pen and going, this pen is bad because with this pen, I can stab you. With this right. pen, I can write a check. And we yeah. can say, is the pen bad? The pen is, it's a freaking pen. It's me, it's how I use it. And that's what money is. Money's like the pen. Money mm -hmm. is nothing. It is neutral, it's paper, it's ink, it's agreed upon means of exchange. So when we dilute our emotional connotations around money and realize money's a pretty cool tool. It can help you pay your bills, help you make mm -hmm. your dreams come true. So the first one is to realize money's not evil, money's neutral. If anything, it's a spiritual tool for good. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing is most people don't believe they deserve good things. They don't believe that they're good enough. They don't value themselves. Most people have a poor self-esteem. When I was homeless, myself, I didn't have self-esteem. It was, I was gonna say it was non-existent. It was gone, there was nothing. I was homeless for God's sake. It took forever to build it up. If people are struggling right now and they're blaming COVID or they're blaming the political system mm -hmm. or the medical, whatever, right. they're giving away their power and they will right. feel like they don't deserve good because in some way, shape or form, they're bad, they're lacking, they're incomplete. And so we need to make peace with money and we need to make peace with ourselves. When we do those two things, then we can actually start to attract money again or achieve money through natural means, even while there's a pandemic.